Happy New Year, everyone. This is Dre Trades. Yes, I am back. I know I, I was out for a couple of days, so if you was looking for me, I'm sorry about that. But we're going to do a video, um, an end of the year video. This one is going to be a little different. We're going to look at some yearly charts, and we're just going to talk real quick about Friday's action. Then I'm going to talk about Amazon, and then I'm going to give you my best trade ideas. <laughs> and it's not many. It's just a couple of sectors that I'm looking at that I, I think I'm going to be all in on. And... Um, um, go ahead, let's, let's get started, man. So Friday, Friday was the last day of the year. It was the last day of the month and the last day of the quarter. And this is how it traded. The market was, uh, it, it was, it actually had a pretty good trading day. I liked it, but the stocks that I, I was in, uh-uh, uh-uh, yeah. And one of those was Amazon. You can see right here. You remember I, I did a couple of videos talking about Amazon and I loved it. And I, I didn't like the trading action, but you know, as you see, it wasn't alone. Apple was also down 0.77. So I do want to talk about the Amazon trade real quick. Even, I, you know, it was a great trade, right? I made lots of money on this and I gave you a pre-warning about what was going to happen and it happened. I love when I say something's going to happen and it actually happens like the next day. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Anyway, so um, made a lot of money coming up and lost a lot of money on this right here. Um, there's really nothing wrong with this downturn, but I just didn't like the trading action of it. So I got out of half of my positions, half. So where are we sitting right now? If I pull up the, from this move, for the most part, up to the top, we are right at the 61.8, which is good. All right, that's a good thing. We see we have volume maybe starting to come back. It came back at the end of the day on Friday. So hopefully it can maintain and hopefully it holds this support. So if I come back, that's the 30 minute chart you was looking at. Uh, let's go to the hourly chart and I can draw a line and wrong line. <laughs> and I could draw a line and you can see how it's trading right there at support, really challenging this, these guys right here. So hopefully this holds and maybe it can bounce to the upside, but I just didn't like this trade, this action right here. It was like straight down, no bounce except for right except for right there little bounce right there and um yeah so we'll see um we'll see just keep an eye on it so i like it i said hey it's not too late to get in the amazon trade it's it's actually a pretty good time but you know what i would get out if it breaks these lows right here all right so let's talk about the market i want to talk we're going to look at some yearly charts all right and and i'm going to give you my best trade idea but first i'm going to start with the vix so let me go ahead and pull up my yearlies and let's pull up the VIX because there's something interesting I'm looking at right here. Let me zoom in. All right, so here we go. We're looking at the VIX all the way from 1986. All right, looking at the yearlies. All right, and um, what I see is here's 87, right? We had that big crash in 87. A lot of people know about that. If you wasn't alive, you probably read about it. Here's the crash in 2008. Right. Most of us know about that one Here's the crash in 2020. All right. Most of us. Yeah, we all know about that. If you're watching this video, you know about the crash in 2020. <laughs> and here's the crash in 2000. Right. And it's weird that the VIX is not spiked high. And that's probably because it wasn't it wasn't vicious, man. That was a two year crash. Right. So um, you can see the, the VIX was high for like two years in a row. And but. From the crash point, this is what I want to get at. We know this was a crazy market all the way to here, right? The market was shooting straight up, right? So straight up, right? And then here's another spike, right? <laughs> this is weird because it didn't spike as high. I'm going to actually skip that one, all right? So it spiked here, right? And we know from here, 2008, all the way to there was a hell of a market straight up, right? I mean, what was that, 12 years, 12 years or so? Okay, so we got another spike, the crash. Is it possible we can get 12 years or so straight up? I don't know. But basically, what I'm getting at is I don't think we have anything to worry about by looking at this kind of quick analyst of looking at the VIX on the yearly, right? It, we know that anything can happen. Now, if I come back here to the 2000s, and say that was a huge, a bigger spike than it actually is, this was a great run too, all the way to 2008. In that period, basically straight up. 
All right, so every time we had huge volatility, right? Huge. I didn't. I didn't even know 1987 was that huge. The market just was on a tear, 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 and this one. I kind of drew lines like that. We possibly gonna be on another tear. I know it sounds weird because we crashed and made new highs like in the same. I mean, the crash was over. If you blinked, the crash was over. The crash was like a Mike Tyson fight back in the '80s. If you blinked, the fight was over, right? If you blinked, the crash was over and we was back. <laughs> and that's what's up. So that's something to look at. So all right, that's the VIX. Let's look at the spy. See what it kind of looks like on the yearly. And if you look at it, I mean it. it there's nothing really wrong with it. Maybe it's a little kind of high right here, but it looks like the uptrend is intact. It looks like it's going to stay intact, right? It just, it looks good. Let's pull up the cues, right? Cues look real good, right? Nice little trend and all of a sudden, boom, it's pumping in the gear, right? And we when we see stocks like this, we know it kind of can just start to take off, right? So cues look good. All right, so let's look at some of the popular stocks, right? Let's look at Amazon. I guess the fangs, right? We'll pull up Amazon, and there's Amazon right there, right? All of a sudden, it jumped into gear. There's nothing wrong with it. Looks like it wants to go a lot higher. All right, let's look at Apple. By the way, Apple, by the way, it, there's really nothing wrong with this chart. But, but, I don't know. I just think it's, for a yearly, I think it's starting to go be overextended. All right, so let me clear that out. Look at those drawings. It just looks like is there's nothing wrong with it. It just looks like it's maybe getting overextended. Right? Just my opinion. Let's look at Netflix. I didn't even pull up stuff. Yeah, Netflix looks good. Right? It just looks like a perfect chart that's going up. Uh what's another one? Um Apple, Netflix, Amazon. Let's we pull up Microsoft. All right? So so you can see what I'm getting at. For the most part, most of the stocks look good now let's pull up that stock that was fire and that's tesla <laughs> and believe it or not when you see charts like this and then you see this now i'm pretending that this is like a i'm gonna pretend this is like a a daily chart when you see charts like this and like this they go a lot higher it's just getting started it could be easily be three more bars that look just like that I hate to say it, but that's it's unbelievable Tesla had this year. The unbelievable run up 700 plus percent. Looking at the yearly, you, we could have another 700 plus percent next year. And maybe even a year after. Right. So um, it looks like Tesla's just getting started. Also, just being like that, it, it, it could also give you like the bar, the one red bar, you know, that kind of goes that like that three bar setup kind of goes like this. Right. And then the next bar will be, you know, something like this. Now be green, right? So this bar would be red and then this bar would be green. But it'll be a lot higher. <laughs> yeah, like I'm trying to draw. Forgive me because it doesn't want me to draw. There we go. I'm trying to extend that, right? So it'll look like that, right? So this bar being red and then this bar being green. So if Tesla starts to come down heavy, uh, don't get nervous because this is possibly setting up. All right. All right. So that's Tesla. Now let's look at NVIDIA. I'm going to look at NVIDIA. NVDA. All right. So NVIDIA is one of the stocks that I like because see how it, you know, sideways, it's consolidation here and we boom, just now breaking out. All right. So I like NVIDIA for the long run to continue that, especially coming out that three year consolidation period. So I like that. Let's pull up uh, another chip, which is AMD. Um, wow. I'm just looking at that. You know, the way I don't. The way I'm just looking how it goes up, down, up, down, up. I don't know. It could be another swoop. Is this the time that it actually goes straight up or maybe even sideways? So AMD, I don't know. I don't know. It, it looks like, it, of course, it could go higher. It's a, it's a great chart. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't have a good feeling about this one like I do some of the other ones. It's just the way it looks to me, right? It looks volatile for the, for the yearly. It just looks volatile. So maybe some volatility is going to come in. You know, I don't know. Look what happened here, right, in 2000, how the thing was just ripping and it gave it right back. 
right? So hopefully nothing like that happens over here, right? I don't think so. I mean, everything is set up for AMD. All right, so I'm going to go. I, I want to keep these videos short so you could see what I was doing. I kind of went over a lot of charts that kind of, you know, of stocks that I like looking at the yearlies, all right? By the way, let me go back. Sorry, let me pull up IWM real quick. IWM looks great, all right? Um, one thing that... I'm looking at the yearly, right? That bothers me about the IWM is you can see the pattern in here, right? Cross, up to the top trend, across, up, across, up, top trend line, across. Suppose this thing does something like that. That's what it's been doing for the last 12 years. So when you look at IWM on a weekly, even a monthly, I mean, it's like a great breakout right there. I don't know. I don't know if this one continues. It might just chop around and go sideways. All right. Now, we're talking long term here. Okay. I'm not talking something tomorrow. All right. This is long term. Like when I drew this across, I'm looking at the year 2024. Of course, there could be a lot of volatility in here and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm just, that's the pattern, right? Up, over, up, over, up, over, up. So might be over next move or maybe does it break out of this trend, this 12 year trend or whatever, and just start going straight up through the channel. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So um, that's what I think about IWM. All right. So now I'm going to talk about some of my my favorite picks for the new year and even the years to come looking at the the um, the the yearly and. Those trades are, and I talked about this one before, take two. Look at take two. How it's just up, over, up, right? I love the consolidation right here. And I think we actually continue this breakout that we have in right here and continue to go high. I love the way it closed on the high. I love that. All right, close the year on the high. If you notice some of the other charts I brought up, they had wicks on the top. All right, so they didn't really close on high. So I love that, all right? So take two, you know, it's a perfect environment. All the new stations are coming out, the PS5, the new Xbox. Um, so what is that? The You know, people's got to re-up. I mean, it's it's new, new, new stuff, <laughs> okay? So um, everything is perfect. Perfect environment for them for the next several years. Um, I like that. I mentioned that before in one of my earlier videos. And here's the weekly, right? Let's pull up the monthly, right? Looks good. So here's that breakout. And I could just see it going higher. It looks a little overextended right now, but um, you know, any pullback just seems viable. Now, the next one I want to look at is EA, right? Let's look at, you know what? I want to look at Activision too. I forgot to look at Activision. I like EA as well. See that consolidation period? Three years on this one. Three years. Now, the only thing that bothers me with this one, see that wick? Yeah, it's got a little selling pressure right there. So hopefully it could break through that. Right? People up here want to sell. <laughs> okay? It's going to be facing double top action. So when this thing, I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think it goes through that. I think it goes through that. But uh, I, I think take two is a little cleaner. Right? So this one might have a, a it might take a little bit longer for it to break out. But if this thing breaks that high of 151.26, look out. EA, right? Making a comeback. And the other one is Activision, ATVI, right? Same thing. So I like the game. And see how that broke through with, with that selling pressure right there, right? That wick. And I expect EA to do the same thing. All right. So I like Activision. I like Take Two, number one. I like Activision. And then I like EA. But I like all of them. So you see the theme right there? I like all of them for the years to come. So these are the trades that I actually going to be putting on Monday. I, ho I hope Monday's a down day, but it won't be because every time I want to buy stocks, it's always a huge day, a huge day. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, if I if I want to get in this, I got to pay up five percent. I'm going to wait for a pullback. Then the next day is up another five percent. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about and then you got a decision to make do you just wait and be prudent or do you be greedy and get in alright so that's those themes and the other theme I want to talk about is biotech 
and mainly the ETF, the IBB. All right, looking at it on the yearly, that looks beautiful. Oh my God. Now, I love the IBB and I hate the IBB because it's very volatile. But looking at this yearly, it's, oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Look at that multi-year breakout. Oh man, and it's finally going to get going. We might have another run like it had in 2008 up to uh, 2015. That was incredible, that run. Incredible. What is that? 464%. Right. So, you know, we got all the viruses and vaccines and, you know, maybe this is the maybe that environment gets these stocks in gear where people just always focusing on them. I don't know. I'm looking at the chart. The chart looks beautiful. Let's pull up the monthly and you can see what's happening there. Multi year breakout. I called it right here. I actually got in and got out. It, you know, it's kind of fake breakout. Fake. You know, so I was like, oh, man, it's IBB. Oh, but it looks like it's it's trying. It doesn't want to go back into the range. Um, I think any pullback on this is viable for the long term. Like none of this, none of this stuff, by the way, is going to make you money um, in the next month or two. You know, it could, but we're talking long term trends here, and that's why I pulled up the yearly. It's a great time to look at yearlies at the end of the year, right before the new trading year begins, and that's what basically I do in this video. So pull up the yearly on your charts and look at some of your favorite stocks and whatnot. And these are where I'm, I'm going to focus. And the more, and if I see more, I'll kind of let you know. How do you know when I see more? You have to subscribe. You have to hit the bell <laughs> because I'll just talk about it in the middle of the video, right? You got to watch the whole video. I'll just bring it up in the middle of the video. But like, oh yeah, yeah. Check this out. Look at the yearly on this, you know, but um, I really like the IBB. All right, so if we were to rank them, if we were to rank what I like, I like the IBB, I like Take Two, right? I like Activision, and then I like EA, right? Now, all three of those were gaming and then the one in biotech. All right, now, of course, I'm not saying everything else sucks. We looked at the fangs for the most part. They're just going to continue to go higher. We looked at Tesla. We think that, oh, that's going to, I think it goes a lot higher. It's just, you don't, just look at the chart. I just think it goes a lot higher. Um, it could pull back, though. I mean, it's just it's just getting going, as you saw, right? It's just getting going on a yearly. All right, so a little different video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know, you know, put it in the comments. Let me know if you like it, like the style. Let me know if you liked my picks if you was following me for the last month or two or a year or two years, because I've been doing this for a long time. Let me know if you like my picks. Let me know if they're cool, if they're working for you. Um, yeah, that's it. And let me just let, yeah, give me some feedback on the channel. I appreciate, I appreciate it. I had uh, Rags to Riches give me some feedback on the live and I appreciate everything that he told me, but you could do the same and you could put down your uh, opinions in the comments below. Of course, you can hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> I had to think about that for a moment. Andre Trades, Twitter Dre Trades. That's actually the best place to hit me up. And right here on any comment on any video, because I reply to everyone. Thanks for watching, y'all. This is Dre, Dre Trades. Happy New Year. Uh, keep watching. Hit the bell, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks. Thanks.